Every so often, Nike drops what I like to call a GR gym. In my own definition, a GR gym is a sneaker that has little to no marketing or promotion, is not a collaboration, and you can walk right into any retailer and purchase these with no hassle. This sneaker checks all three of those boxes, and I think these are going to be a classic in the foreseeable future. So without further ado, my name is Chris Young, and today we're going to be reviewing the Air Max 95 Quick Strike in the Anatomy of Air colorway. Since this was a quick strike release, we were blessed with the blackout style Nike box, and then our sizing tag does read Nike Air Max 95 Quick Strike with the official colorway of these being Team Red and Summit White. This flesh colorway released alongside a glow-in-the-dark skeletal colorway on July 28th for a retail price of $180, but the good news is the Anatomy of Air collection is available right now on secondary markets like StockX and GOAT for under retail, so if you want to save a little extra money, I will be sure to leave a direct purchase link to both of those apps, and I think you're going to be able to get these for somewhere around $30 under retail, so that's always great to see if you are a personal collector. Now, nearly 30 years ago, a relatively inexperienced designer by the name of Sergio Lozano designed the Air Max 95, and he took direct inspiration from the anatomy of the human body. Now, once the final design of the Air Max 95 was brought to life, Sergio Lozano described it as natural erosion combined with how the human body clings to its surrounding tissue. The Air Max 95 continues to be one of the best sellers for the swoosh 30 years later, and when you combine a story and colorway like this on the Air Max 95, paying homage to the Anatomy of Air campaign, it could only generate a bunch of sales in the foreseeable future. So, great job Nike on creating a colorway that is very literal, but not too cliche, if you know what I mean. Diving into the shoes themselves, the toe box is comprised of this thin gray suede, and directly on top we have these revamped stitching lines which are most likely there to mimic the look of fibers at each muscle layer. Progressing up this sneaker, the first half of our tongue is done in white mesh, but once we make it to the second half of the tongue, it does transition very nicely into this maroon neoprene, with our Air Max oval branding smack dab in the center in this multicolored finish. Overlaid on top of the tongue, we have these twisted white rope laces that weave through our beige lace loops, and at the very end of our laces, we have these pink metal aglets. Found directly behind the tongue and probably my favorite feature of this sneaker, we do have the wording anatomy of error in this cursive font. Now, I know it's only going to be visible to the person who's putting on the sneakers, but just the fact that Nike would go above and beyond and add this text on the back of the tongue in such an elegant fashion, it really brings home the entire point of the anatomy of error campaign. Making our way back to the upper of these, the connective tissue is replicated by these wavy panels done in white, Pale Pink, Salmon, Team Red, and lastly, Burgundy. On the back of these, or the spine per se, we do have this sail panel with our Nike Air branding embossed in black. Directly below this, we have a sail midsole, and then our airbag unit takes on an even darker cream color. This sneaker is then capped off by a cream colored outsole, as well as a literal representation of flesh sitting underfoot on this shank panel. When it comes to the sizing of the Air Max 95, the general consensus amongst many is that this sneaker fits true to size. However, if you have wider feet, I would recommend that you go a half size up just so you have a little extra room in the toe box region of this sneaker. The Air Max 95 has great comfort as well, so if you want this sneaker as a trainer or just a lifestyle model, it will get the job done, and I've always really loved wearing this sneaker with jeans as well as tech fleece joggers. Alright guys, so this pretty much wraps up my review on the Air Max 95 Quick Strike Anatomy of Air in the flesh colorway. In my opinion, I think Nike did a superb job on this sneaker, and it just goes to show you that when the creatives up in Beaverton want to pop off, they can design some serious heat. I know that these are just a GR, but I could have easily seen a brand like Clot designing these given their prior human body takes on Nike silhouettes. 
Mad props to Nike on the history lesson on the 95 itself, a lesson on anatomy, and finally, the colors on this sneaker remind me of my favorite ice cream bar, which is a strawberry shortcake. So, multiple reasons for me to love this sneaker, but let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comments section. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed what you saw today, leave this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you already haven't because we are so close to 6,000 subscribers and with the help of all of you watching today, we can easily make that milestone come into fruition. The on foot portion of today's video is coming right up so you know I can't leave without saying, stay safe, stay blessed, aim high for all of your goals, and I will see you guys on the next video.